Boom, we are pre-recorded, ladies and gentlemen, and I know it's been a while, but we are going to be taking a look at Raven, Maddox, and One today. We had a very quick, very fast, sharp drop in all of these tokens, and I wanted to take a little bit of a look at the reasons why I think this happened. Now, I want you to stay with us till the end of the video, so right from the get-go, remember to give us those thumbs up. Any of the questions, comments, and your feedback on what you think may have happened to cause this price drop, please leave those in the comments down below. And we're going to be diving in and taking a look at Bitcoin's price at the very end of this video after we go over our initial assertion. So let's dive right in. Cool. Okay, so now that we're looking at the screen here, I actually have Matic, Raven, and Harmony, the one all open on the same 15 minute time frame. And what I found interesting here was the systematic drop. So if you follow along here, you can see they all started to fall at the exact same time. And they all hit their bottoms right around the same time. And now too, Raven and Harmony were a little slower to get to that deep bottom and with Matic posting like a 70% drop in some of its initial movements, it was a very big and noticeable right out the gate. Now I started to think, what could have done this? First off, these are all very small cap coins. We're talking maybe $100 million at most. For some of them, I think Raven's 134, Maddox around 80, Harmony is around 50 or 60. So Maddox fell from $100 million down to $40 million. And to a lot of us, that's gonna seem like a lot of money, but it's not, right? It's, it's not that much money at all, actually. And this is the downside. First, foremost, we forget that these are very small, very, very early on growing ecosystems. And if one or two people decide that they wanna play in the waves, someone that has, say, hundreds of millions of dollars in their personal portfolio, they have the ability to move these markets like that. The second thing that really jumped out to me was actually the potential of the uh, Binance futures and margin trading. These are all tokens that are listed on Binance and you can trade the futures on, something I have not yet done, nor tried, nor ventured into. But because of that, there is likely a very large amount of Bitcoin that was posted, especially on Matic. Because if you could leverage trade Matic, that was a huge gain. So we had actually trade, traded um, Matic for about 180% gain since our, m m m I guess, the monthly newsletter in November. So if you want, you can sign up for our monthly newsletter. Only do it if you're smart enough to want to educate yourself, learn, grow, and build things. Um, for everyone else, let's just leave it off the table. Are you an adventurous person? <laughs> do, you, can you, do you like to learn how to play? That's generally who our newsletter is for if you just think you're going to get calls and know what to do. It's not for you. But... This great run up was fantastic, posted great gains, and then stop losses saved us. Well, saved me and hopefully everybody else and anyone that's not signed up to our newsletter. For God's sakes, if you're ever gonna try trading, always can use a stop loss. That's like the best trading advice anyone can ever give you. And if you just play that on repeat from Tio and the Arcane Bear family, you'll be a much better trader than had you not used that. And mostly what happens is people start to think that their trades are going to turn out well and then they don't and then they don't know what to do oh should I sell now should I sell later and then they let the price drag them lower and lower and lower realizing that they were wrong in their original assertion most people lose money when it comes to trading having a good strategy allows you to trade effectively and over the long term without losing your positions your socks or your shoes along the way so again, I think this drop had to do two, again, main factors. A, the Binance margin futures trading, which came into play not too long ago, which gives these already small cap or liquid tokens a much more, let's say, dramatic price swing when things happen. And B, these small nation systems have hundreds of millions of dollars in them, which is not a whole lot of money. I have friends that own more than that in their just their personal savings accounts alone. So when we take that into account, it's really easy to factor in that it could have been just a few people that decided to say, hey, let's start selling. We've made enough money. And then from there, just trigger stop loss after stop loss and break each of these signals as we go down. So lastly, I'm going to take a look at Bitcoin here. I do want to keep the video short for today. Uh, we'll give Bitcoin the full screen and appearance. 
Okay, we're, we're gonna to wanna to look at the higher time frame here. We're still in our channel and we have not been able to break above the middle range here. Not a great sign. I would suspect at this point, it's very likely we'll have another test at the top part of the channel here before coming back down, especially with May 2020 coming in, which is the more or less the Bitcoin happening. This is almost always proven to be bullish, although I do believe we're gonna see some of the bullish sentiment come in before the happening this time. If not, it could already all be priced in, and then that's a much more detrimental case to the rest of our story. Bringing us down to the bottom of the channel would be around $6,100 on the next downside move here. Um, it could be very likely if we were to make a fractal of this last area that we saw here. So if we were to see a repeat of um, this, this portion here, it's a very big square. You know how that was drawn. Uh, if we were to see a repeat of this here, and have it repeat over here. Um, I think that would bring us down to around 6,100. A final test of that, who knows if we're going to see it or not, but it's going to be a very interesting play. So again, the important part here, um, here we go, clone. I think we're gonna see another very similar box range here. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with this. And up to the top, but first down to the bottom. Um, so we'll go from there, bang, like this, down, back up, hit the $8,600 and $8,700 area, and then kind of tell us the rest of the story from there. Anyways, I'm going to leave it very quick and short today. As you can tell, I still have a sore throat. I have been healing and recovering as best as I can. It's Steve with the Arcane Bear. Give us a thumbs up if you like this content. If you're new to the Bear family, please subscribe and like this channel. Leave us your thoughts, your comments, your questions all down below so I can do my best to help answer them. And remember, your guys' opinion is just as valid as mine here. I don't know exactly what happened in the market, but these are my current guesses. I'm going to sign off for the rest of the day. We'll see you guys on the other side.